Coming to histopathology and differential diagnosis of oral lichen planus, the lesions show atrophy and acanthosis of squamous epithelium. There are variable degrees of both ortho and parakeratosis. Classical appearance of sort of pattern is common in cutaneous lichen planus. Hydrophobic degeneration of basal cell layer is seen. Also, lymphocytic infiltrate is seen, which is in the form of band like and is seen sub epithelially. Oral lichen planus resembles oral lichenoid reaction, contact hypersensitivity reaction, mucous membrane papagoid, graft versus host disease, lupus erythematosus, ulcerative stomatitis, proliferative varicose leukopenia, and oral epithelial dysplasia. The most common medications Im implicated in oral lichenoid drug reaction are non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs, antihypertensives, anti convulsants, anti malarials, and anti retrovirals. Lichenoid drug reaction may not necessarily occur immediately, with some lesions developing even years after introducing the medication. Diagnosing a lichenoid drug reaction is difficult, and thorough clinical history may aid in identifying the offending drug. The contact hypersensitivity reactions are typically seen on the mucal cell surface in direct contact with offending agents. These offending agents may include dental restorative materials or flavoring agents, for example, menthol and eugenol. Amalgam restorations are most common implicated in these reactions. The lesions usually resolve within several months following the replacement of the dental restoration or discontinuation of the flavoring agent. Decitimated gingivitis is main clinical sign in mucous membrane pamphigoid. The clinical feature is erythematous gingiva, loss of stippling, which extends from gingival margins to alveolar mucosa. These may be mild, these may be in the form of small patches, or sometimes these are widespread. Mucosal erosions mimic oral lichen planus. Graft versus host disease, host disease affects oral cavity in the form of lichenoid lesions, hyperkeratotic flux, and limited oral aperture secondary to sclerosis. The oral condition is usually mild, though moderate to severe erosive and ulcerated lesions are seen. The diagnosis is established from clinical characteristics, though confirmation through biopsy is needed. Local corticosteroids are the treatment of choice and overall response rates are close to 50%. Lupus erythematosus can manifest as localized erythematous papular areas resembling lichen planus. They can manifest as various lesions including oral ulcers. These can be in the form of white patches also, sometimes erythema is seen which is accompanied by dryness due to xerostomia. Some studies indicate that there is widespread gingival involvement in oral lichen planus. Oral lichen planus can have sometimes high malignant transformation rate. In some studies, about up to 20% of the malignant transformation is seen, but mostly only 2% of lichen planus transform in malignancies. Thank you.